all my new subscribers. I wanted to share my very first guest design team project for Craft Supplies for You. And I wanted to thank you again, Julie, for inviting me to guest design for you. And so anyway, I was totally inspired by so many of you super talented ladies out there. And what I did was I altered a dinner napkin. And I used some fabric that I had in my stash. Um, one of them came from Shonda, who is Slim Cards here on YouTube. Hey, Shonda. And I also used some felt to give it um, some thickness. And so let me start with the back here. And I covered the entire back with this gorgeous trim, this lace dangle trim. It's about 11, 11 and a half inches in length. And I use it in its entirety to cover the whole back. And it didn't come with any pearls, um, so I did add some of my um, beaded pearls that had fallen off of appliques, and I do save them and use them for other projects. And down here I have some four millimeter flat back pearls, which is also from Craft Supplies for You. And this trim, um, which I gathered and ruffled, also from Craft Supplies for You. And this tool trim, I got this a couple years back and this was from Amy Love uh, when she used to sell her laces and trims. And I think she sold most of her stock to KS4U. And then on the side here, I used some trim that I had in my stash on both sides. And let's see, okay, let's go back to the front. And then for the front part, I used that same um, lace just for the top flap and what I did was I just cut the dangles off and I'll use this for another project and also I added did the same thing to the back I added some beads pearl beads to the front I used some of my own uh, wedding appliques I had in my stash and this time on the, the sides here I used um, this Benice lace here and I cut off the scalloped edge, and this is what I have left. I cut off the scalloped edge here and used it to line the edges here for the front. And if I had like another half a yard, I would have gone around the whole purse, which is why it's different on the back. And then I added these tiny little flower clusters here, and I also got this from Craft Supplies for You. It comes in, um, uh, this form, but what I did was I cut it in little pieces so I could arrange them in little flower clusters on the purse to give it a pop of color. And then I created this flower here, um, lace flower with the same lace that I used on the back. And I use this gorgeous pearl applique dangle. This is also from Craft Supplies for You. And then here um, I added a charm uh, that was totally inspired by Yorlis, who is pretty by Yorlis Borja, and also um, Chabon Pearl and Button to add a little dangle here. And all these charms are like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, or online. And I used a um, lace bow here, and that's from uh, this lace here. And I just cut it in half because I didn't want it to be that wide for the bow. And then I just attached it with this uh, huge eyelet and I just poked it through the fabric. And I added a handle here. And this was totally inspired by Olivia Hernandez. And so I used that same lace here for the handle. I love this, it's so pliable and dainty. And then I added the gorgeous um, rose trim all the way around. And if I had enough, I would have done the back also, but I only have this much left and I'm gonna save it for another project. Okay, so that, did I get everything here? I believe so. Okay, so then I used some seam binding to um, tie the flap to the purse. And, um, and on the ends, I just used some applique and pearls that I had in my stash. And then on the inside flap, I um, 
use the same venice trim this but this time i used the scallops on the edge and i use that same four millimeter flat back pearl trim i just love that trim and here you can see you have a better look at the fabric that i use there's two uh, lines two things of fabric on here and some felt and for the edges here i use this gimp trim which is also from craft supplies for you it's about three quarters of an inch in width it's got a little bit of sparkle to it too and here for the pocket I use this gorgeous heart trim and this is also from craft supplies for you and all these appliques here um, are from my stash and then for the bottom here I use that same applique trim and four millimeter flat back pearls and for the sides here um, again I cut off the tops of this a Venice lace trim for the edges here and what I did was just to cover off cover the ugly ugliness of the <laughs> felt and the layers I added some trim for my stash and then I also have some more some of that uh, tool trim from Amy Love and I also added these um, dangles and this is also from craft supplies for you and um, Let's see if I have it here. Oh, I do have it. Okay, and what I did was I just chopped off the dangles that you see here. And um, I think I used like five. So see, I chopped that off, but I can still use all this for something else. And on the dangles, I used some um, plastic uh, flowers and pearls that I had on my stash. And I think I think I covered everything. Okay, so that's my project, and if you guys have any questions of any products that I've used, um, please let me know, and I'm going to leave the links down below to um, Craft Supplies for you, um, to both of their shops, and uh, if you have any more questions, let me know, and I thank you all for watching. Bye for now.